Hi, in this video I'm looking at determining the vector and Cartesian equations of a line passing through 3, 4 and 5, negative 2. Now what this means is that if we look at a quick sketch of what's happening, I've got my x and y axes and I've got the point 3, 4 and I've got the point 5, negative 2 and I want to know what is the equation of the line passing through that point as a vector equation and a Cartesian equation. And the way we do this is we first define our vector a to my first point and vector b to my second point. And vector a is going to be easy because it's just going to be 3i plus 4j. And vector b is just as easy. It's 5i take 2j and we then define what's the vector going from one point to the other so if I call this point a and point b then the vector from a to b which we typically call d is going to be vector b minus vector a so we're going to do 5i minus 2j and subtract off the entirety of vector a which is 3i plus 4j so if we do that that gives us vector d 5i minus 3i is 2i and negative 2j take 4j is going to be minus 6j and what this enables us to do is define now our vector equation using that r is going to be a plus k lots of our vector d because if I keep adding on fractions of d or multiples of d then I can get any point on this line so that means that our vector equation for this line is going to be r and add on our vector a we'll start with our vector a 3i plus 4j and then add on our vector, or add on k lots of our vector d, which is 2i minus 6j. And then tidying this up gives us 3i plus k lots of 2i is going to be 3 plus 2k lots of i plus. 4j plus k lots of negative 6j is going to be 4 minus 6k lots of j. And that gives us our vector equation for this line. And we just got to specify that k is an element of the real number system because it can be any number as long as it's real. So that's our vector equation. We now just need to get our Cartesian equation. To get the Cartesian equation, we're going to use the form for that, which is x minus a1 on d1 equals y minus a2 on d2 equals z minus a3 on d3, where a1, a2, and a3 are the three components of vector a and d1 2 and 3 are the components of vector d now we won't need the z because we've only got two dimensions here so if we go and put our information in we're going to have x minus the x component of a which is 3 divided by the x component of d which is 2 and then that's going to equal y minus the x uh, minus the y component of a all over the y component of d which was negative six now if we had three dimensions we'd have three of these equal together but considering we've only got two expressions separated by the equals we've got just a single equation so that means we can actually tidy this up. So to tidy this up, we're going to, first of all, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative six 
and I'll multiply both sides by 2 while I'm at it. So that's going to give us negative 6 lots of x minus 3 equals 2 lots of y minus 4. And then let's expand those brackets. So I'm going to have negative 6x plus 18 equals 2y minus 8. And then we can add 8 to both sides. And so that will leave us with 2y on the right and negative 6x plus 26 on the left. And then we can divide everything by 2. And that will leave us with negative 3x plus 13 equals y. So that gives us our Cartesian equation, if I just write it another way, just for simplicity. And there we have it. To get the vector equation of the line passing through two points, we set up the vector to the two points find the vector going from point A to point B, use our vector form and tidy it up, and then use that same information with our Cartesian form, and then simplify if it's only two dimensions, because we can.